Hello everybody, this is Keith from Crypto Coin Mindset. I hope this video finds you well today. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the latest news articles on our cryptocurrency blog. We've changed it up a little bit. We'll talk about that. But we're going to be talking more about Binance, BitHum, and SushiSwap. That's a lot of stuff. Let's get to it. Welcome back. Now, before we get into our news articles for this week, if you're new to the channel, we ask that you please hit that subscribe button, tick the bell icon, and hit the all. That way you get notified every time we put out a great video. And if you find this video helpful, we ask that you share it with someone else who might also get some benefit from it. And let's not forget, give this video some love. Hit that like button, smash it up. We really appreciate it. It helps the channel. All right, so we've changed up the blog a little bit. We're going to try and bring more value to you here in the cryptocurrency space. So in order to do that, we're increasing the number of blog posts on our blog on a weekly basis. Currently, we've been doing two blog posts per week and bringing that to you in the form of a video at the end of the week. Starting this week, we're going to bring that number up to three news articles on our blog and try and combine that into one video for you. We may change the date. Today might be the last Saturday it comes out. We may put the video out on Sunday. We're still working on the details, so bear with us while we, uh, while we get through that. All right, so let's get into our news articles for this week. Two of our three news articles are going to surround the DeFi space. Now, I mean, come on, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that DeFi is just exploding in the cryptocurrency space. And most of these DeFi projects are built on Ethereum. And that is good and bad, I guess. Uh, I mean, the good part is it's good for Ethereum, gets them some, uh, some love and price action and that kind of thing. However, the downside of that is the gas fees are astronomical. I was trying to do something on Ethereum the other day and it was something like moving, I don't know, maybe around $800 worth of Ethereum and it was going to cost me $1,800 in gas fee. Yeah. How is that even remotely going to help Ethereum? I don't know. But anyway, uh, before I get off on too far of a tangent, the first of our news articles is about Binance entering the DeFi space. Binance enters DeFi with Binance Smart Chain. Basically, Binance has launched a new blockchain and one that will help them unlock the door in the DeFi sector. Meanwhile, they're also coming up with a new offering, an automated market maker. We're not going to get into it too deeply if you want to read about this whole thing. The link to our article is in the description below. But Binance's new automated market maker is known as Binance Liquid Swap. And as such, it aims to be a direct competitor to Uniswap, as well as other similar projects. But let's be honest, Uniswap seems to be the gorilla in the room when it comes to this whole DeFi swapping thing. Binance plans to launch an AMM liquidity pool and allow users to create liquidity by depositing their coins. This will also earn them interest by doing so. So they're also saying that the fees will be extremely less than what we're currently seeing. And again, we talked about that with what's happening with Ethereum and the gas fees. You want to read more about Binance entering the DeFi space? The link is in the description below. In our next news article, South Korean police raid BitHum for the second time. Now, BitHum is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in South Korea. And recently, for the second time, the South Korean Police and Intelligence Unit raided the headquarters looking for some information and more evidence regarding an indictment that they've already made against BitHum Holdings Chairman Jung Hoon. They're trying to link him with massive financial fraud using the BXA token, basically promoting it to investors as the primary token for BitHum. However, the BXA token has never even been listed or launched. Now, this isn't the first time we've had BitHum in the news and in the hot water of one kind or another. Then back in 2017, they had a major data breach, which basically exposed many users' information. And remarkably, it seems that none of these issues and legal troubles with BitHum seem to take it out of the top 10 in the world for cryptocurrency exchanges. You want to read more about this article? The link is in the description below. 
All right, before we get to our final article, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that like button, smash it up, show us some love. We appreciate it. All right, our final news article for this week is Sushi Swap Creator Exits Project. Now, <laughs> prior to uh, maybe a week ago, I, along with many other people in the crypto space, had never even heard of Sushi Swap. Welcome to the new world of cryptocurrency DeFi. SushiSwap is a relatively new project that basically allows users via smart contract to exchange assets without having a centralized exchange involved. The native token of SushiSwap is the Sushi token, and it has done some major price swings in the last week and a half. Now, there was some FUD going around with regard to band protocol and being involved with their Oracle services and SushiSwap. Bottom line is, they pulled out of that, and the next thing you know, the creator of SushiSwap is out of there, and the FTX CEO is taking it over. Now, in case you didn't know, SushiSwap is a fork of the Uniswap protocol, so it's a direct competitor to Uniswap. This whole thing, to me, is just a muddy mess, but hey, what do I know? I'm just some guy on the internet some guy on YouTube, right? Anyway, if you want to read about this entire article, the link is in the description below. And that's going to do it for our news articles this week. We hope you appreciate the increased content that we're bringing out to you. And if you do, make sure you hit that like button, smash it up, show us some love. And if this video was helpful to you, make sure you share it with someone who might also get some benefit from it. Now, finally, as we've been doing at the end of every video, we're going to remind you that we have migrated our entire YouTube channel over to Library. Library is a blockchain-based, censorship-resistant file-sharing platform. Visit us over there, follow us, show us some support. We'd really appreciate it. Again, we'd like to thank you for stopping by and visiting us here today at CryptoCoin Mindset. We hope you have a great day and take care.